Generic greetings and welcome back to another brick in the mall. Do, 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 do another brick. You get the idea. It's the only game title you can really sing, I think, without sounding like a complete dick. Although, to be fair, I don't think I managed to pull it off. In the previous episode, we made our. It's going to be the. Well, it's the food outlet, the generic food outlet, but it sells more than just food. It also has um, some spirits. We've got booze, we've got some wines, we've got some uh, liquor, and we've got some beers. We've also got down the bottom some cookware and some uh, dishes and things like that because obviously you if you're selling food and such and they go oh wait I've just bought food but I don't have anywhere to cook it then um yeah they, they need some cutlery and some pans and stuff which actually cutlery I just thought about that we don't have any cutlery is there cutlery in the game um there's cookware and there's dishes I don't think there is cutlery I might have missed it out somewhere Oh well. Anyway, that's what we did in the previous episode. In this episode, we're going to be building, among other things, this um, this restaurant here. This is what this thing is going to be. We're going to speed up to max speed while they crack on here. I also just want to check to make sure the things are being cleaned. You can see there's some dirt being uh, trailed in now and again and put around places, but uh, it is getting clean by the look of it, so that's uh, fantastic. We are making a decent amount of money, as you can see. In fact, in terms of our daily profit, our maximum daily profit is 10,405 generic units of currency. That's our uh, max daily profit throughout the entire game over the 32 days that we've been playing this in-game, obviously, which is fine. We have a couple of objectives. We've got 50 uh, different types of products to sell. We're on 41. I don't know if the restaurant classes have products. I really don't know. We'll have to see. Turn a daily profit of over 20 grand, which we've just mentioned earlier. We're halfway towards doing that. Have 100 customers on site. We're, again, just over halfway with 54. And make 5,000 total sales, which are currently 4,380 plus a bit of change. Yeah, and it's going up quite fast. So only a couple of days and we'll get that done. So we've got uh, missed sales opportunities restaurant, but obviously we are making that. We do have one of these things complete, some more research electronics. It's now going on to media supplier. Essentially, we're just going to unlock everything and uh, go on there. What does this actually do? Well, our connection to additional road entrance, road entrance, road entrance. Yeah, that's what I thought it would be. So fine. Not too bad at all. Right, what we need to do is go to, to build and then to uh, probably objects and then to a double door. And I'm thinking, do you want a double door right in the center? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That is actually right in the center. That's fine. Excellent. So that'll go there. On the right hand side here, we do want to have a storage. I assume you have to have a storage for a for a restaurant. I'll be honest, I can't I have built a restaurant before. I just can't entirely remember whether or not we uh, had Storage. I think we did. I think we did. Let's just go back to objects for a second. I want to just see how the diner the diner table is going to go in. Well, that's that's the way. I think that's the way they would. They seem to probably go in best, but I think we'll do them like that. So one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was trying to measure off where we'll roughly have the uh, the storage, but that is going to probably do the job. Actually, we'll pause it. One, we'll go to build, and we want objects. We just want to check a second for the order counter. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. However, I don't, I actually want it a little bit different. Go back over to build and walls. I want to actually do that for the walls, do that, and then Mm, that'll be okay because what I want to have is essentially like two and two and then a gap in the center where you can go in and out or may actually probably there would probably be best so let's just go to build and over to objects once more we need to go to a staff door which we will put in at the back and then we'll put the similar sort of thing there as well and we will go down over to our order counter and we'll put one uh, actually cancel that we'll probably put one two three four in the entrance there that's fine i think we'll go over to manage before we do anything else and actually no we need to assign it first don't we storage and we will say fill and bosch there's a fill and fast food restaurant is that there fantastic okay so we do need to manage this and obviously we're going to go down to the uh, that's maintenance center two it is the generic food outlet this is going to be storage uh, that's change where is it it'll be 
it's it's not really in any particular order this run clothing outlet restroom um storage it's down the bottom storage three so it is in order it's just the latest stuff is at the bottom so this is uh g storage uh five i believe yes it is and the fast food restaurant will be uh generic fast food outlet uh, actually, it'll be G fast food outlet. Oh, you know what that'll do. <laughs> I'm not going back to delete the full thing. Oh, do I? No, I don't. Right. So, there. That's gonna. That's gonna eat away at me for ages. I'm gonna change it. Hang on. Hang on. It's my. It's my problem. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, but you know, G fast food outlet. Job done. Right. So now build. What do we need for this thing? Cashiers, stock clerks. Uh, food, cooking ranges, things like that. We'll go to normal speed while they build this. And actually what we'll do, we'll sit and manage. We'll go to the food outlet, assign storage, that one there. Move the opening hours and obviously the end hours as well. We will hire staff, but only once I am completed here. Back over to build and we can see this needs at least one. Uh, where is it? Is it not noticed? Uh, incomplete. I need cashiers. Yes, I need stock clerks. Yes, I need cooking ranges. I need soda dispensers and fast food warmers. So I'm guessing the cooking ranges will go at the back here. One there, one there. That should be completely fine. We will then put in... What else do we need? We need soda dispensers and food fast food warmers. So I think we'll have probably a fast food warmer at either side. Mm. Actually, we'll probably put... One there and one there. Then one there. Then fast food dispensers like so. That will hopefully work, but we'll see. Now, we have to be careful because, remember, these here, these is where the lines go down like that. So we have to be careful about that one. So we want to put in at least two sets of tables and chairs if we can manage. But we don't really want to put them too much around here because that'll that'll break the line up. So what's the best way of doing it? Um, probably one, two, three. That's okay. This is like restaurant table, but it's fast food restaurant only, you see. And we could put these lines, these tables in actually. That just says food cart table. Whether or not they'll use them, I do not know. But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's put one in and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there's that. We will go over to probably a... We don't really need a vending machine. We It would be nice if we had an ATM. Again, I've, I've placed ATMs around the place. I haven't witnessed anyone using them, but I'm sure they will. Maybe. Uh, actually, you know what? We don't even need them. But you'd probably need a plant or something. Let's have a plant type B. I'll put some nice plants in between the tables like so. Uh, probably not there because it'll be a bit difficult. And uh, in... No, we don't need them anywhere else. That'll do us quite nicely. Right, okay. So we will go to... I oh, will actually pause it a second and we'll go... Because what time is it now? It is... Oh, it's two in the morning. We don't need to then crack on with that one. We do need to go to manage and over to our fast food outlet. We want to go to staff. We want to hire a stock person, which I cannot see anyone that's good at that one. Is anyone good at cook or anything? Uh, cancel or cashier. We'll go to cashier first and we'll get this person with cashier. And we want them to come in at 8 o'clock and finish at this time. Now, actually, I think we want the restaurant to open at 6. Open at 6 and finish at probably a bit later. Let's go over to the opening hours. So we'll open at, say, 6 and we'll finish at 10. I think that'll be about right. Uh, maybe. Can you actually make them 13 hours? Well, you want it's 14 hours, is it? 14 hours. So actually, no, we'll say 8 till a bit late. 8 till late. There you go. So it's 12 hours. So can we do a 12-hour shift? Is it sensible? There's only one way to find out. We'll have another cashier. Uh, oh, that, there's actually a really good stock clerk. You can come in with me. And you are now part of the capitalism hive. And we'll hire a cashier, which is... Uh, actually, there's a decent cook there. We'll actually get a cook. Cook. And again, 8 till late. 
hire another cook. I don't know how many we need, so I'm going to just get two of each and another cashier, which, yo, that person's really good. Look at that. Haley Bray, 55. Just really good at everything. Welcome. And obviously her salary will be based on the amount of hours she works plus uh, satisfaction and skills, I believe. But there we go. There's that done so two cashiers um two cooks maybe we need more i don't really know either way let's just see how that one goes so it's just about to open as well we'll speed up to max speed and the lights will come on any second and there we go actually before we before we open it we'll go to manage actually we can build one it floor tiles and i really want oh well that it's gonna have to be that isn't it and because of that, we might change this one up here, because this is not really fitting. There we go, that's a bit better. There we go, that's fine. Actually, no, we want really cold ones. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Right. And let's see what happens. So, people coming in. Oh, look at that. Wow, straight to the restaurant. And, oh, most of these are working. Ah, to be fair, they're not using the customer. Ah, they're not using the, they're using the customer parking one as well. Which is interesting. So you've got guys cooking there. Look, you've got like burgers and such as well as your salads bits there. And then what they'll do is they'll cook that and they'll put it here. And then we will be able to uh, sell away. But actually what's happening is we haven't cooked. Have we cooked enough burgers? Oh yeah, there's burgers starting to pile up. There you go. So we are starting selling meals. There we are. Now we haven't altered the pricing of this again. It's just, it is just what it is. So you can go to manage and you can see. Uh, actually, can you manage the prices for these? Can you manage the prices? I don't know if you can manage the prices for these meals. I'm not too sure. Either way, look, they're sitting down in this corner, which is good. That's working out. Some people are... Are they, are they all staying in? I think all of them stayed in at that time there. I don't think any of them left. Uh, it says we've got missed sales opportunities restaurants, two occurrences. The hungry and there was no restaurants that were near or full. We could have been in this corner, which is obviously a problem. Uh, we need to go over to build and change to road work and obviously staff only parking and just make another set of staff only. Don't think that's really going to work because, you know, that was staff only parking, but they weren't, uh, they were going elsewhere. So, you know, we'll have to see. But I'm glad we've got this, like, different building with uh, the parking all the way around. I think that works out quite well. So, so let's just check this next morning. Here we are. Yeah, they're all They're all sitting down They are all sitting down Oh no, they are sitting in this corner as well Alright, so that works, we know that that works, fantastic So we can go to build Over to objects And get the food court table And we can put more in And importantly uh, If we wanted to We can do that, you see we can do that because they queue down this this row so we'll do that you see and they queue down this row we could even put them there there you go i know it's a bit cramped but i think that makes sense yeah so because they can all line up here we'll just check what it's like in the morning and obviously you've got a slightly better booths on the right hand side excellent we've just got a, a make a ten thousand total sales so we must have got five thousand done yep they're just over five thousand five thousand two hundred and ninety three total sales not bad that's actually not bad at all. In terms of profit, uh, it's going down, but we have spent a lot, which I guess is the, the main thing. So we'll see what it's like this day. I'm not going to spend anything here. Uh, you can see everybody's turning up, cooking away there, and then people are queuing up. Yeah, yeah, they actually sit on these ones as well. And the queues go down near the till side, so that's fine. Excellent. And we're making money. How much money are we making? We'll just check. And... Bing! I don't... I can't reach... I can't see! I can't see how much it actually is. 21 was that? 10? That was 10. That was... I don't know. I can't tell. I'd have to freeze frame in, in the edit. <laughs> 22 I think that was. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, max speed. Let's see what the profit is. The main... I think... The main profit is coming from this. From the clothes store. The clothes store making lots and lots of money. This one is more... It can actually operate at a loss, the food place. It can actually operate at a loss if we really wanted to. Because the whole point is that we are just trying to keep people here. That's the whole point. Um, in terms of in terms of people working in this area, I don't think 
there's any problem with people... Yeah, yeah, fast food restaurant. Look, it's it's actually not making any money. It might get there. It might get there, but we'll see. Um, people working in here... I don't think there's any problem with them working the 12 hours. Seems to be okay. We could, if we really wanted to, open up at night. Uh, there's a media supplier done, and what we're going for now, appliances and stuff. Then we've not got... We've got most of the research actually unlocked. In terms of needs, fast food, you can see, is there. What we really need is another fast food restaurant, probably around here, but we'll see how it goes. What I'm going to do is actually build, I think, a fairly big store around this part here and have this as our electronics dealer. What we'll need to do there though is remove road work and we'll remove probably all of this okay and then we'll go back to road work over to loading zone and have three loading zone on this side uh one two three four five six seven okay yeah so we'll have three loading zone one two three and then staff parking one two three four job done in terms of money yeah you can see that it's in terms of profit we're not making as much as we did had before, which is slightly worrying. Maybe do we close the restaurant? Do we close the restaurant? I mean, we might. It might be best to have it only as um, eight till six, like the rest of them. I think that'll and that'll reduce salaries. You see, the problem is that if it's not making much money, this place, right? And the whole and its whole purpose is to keep people here. If all of the shops shut, then why are we keeping this open if it's not making any money? Because look, profit margin. Whoa, not much at all. Yeah, it's actually losing us a bit of money, several monies. But people are parking around here, which is good. So if nothing else, the parking's good. <laughs> and yeah, it's. it's it's beeping and selling and stuff, and people are coming in, so we're obviously selling things. Just perhaps not at the rate we want. But the clothing store is um, keeping us really where we need to be. Let's have a quick look at the clothing store. Clothing outlet, yeah, look at that. <laughs> we'll go for, let's have a look at the standard outlet. This outlet is 43% profit, that's good. Frozen outlet, 28%, not great. Clothing, 93 It's it's just insane. Um, the fast food, hang on, oh, we need a food outlet, food outlet, 41, that's fine. And the fast food is minus 42, so we're losing money on that one, which is a crying shame. Currently got 62,000 in the kitty, and that is probably not enough to build what I want to have around here. Like I say, I want to have a fairly big, uh, almost warehousey type thing. In fact, what we'll do, we'll go to build and to road, and we'll sort of roughly plan the size I want this thing as, and... I think it would be around there, and then, yeah, it would be that. That is the overall size, that thing there. Uh, we could put a connection here as well if we really wanted to. This would be like a drive-in type thing, but drive-ins don't exist. It's weird, when I play games like this, especially Prison Architect, and actually the, the main one that I've thought this on is... Uh, is Software Inc. Uh, you play the games, and after a while you realise the potential of... Uh, the engine and the the things they've already put in that could be used for so many things like um, you know this couldn't just be about malls this could be about town planning you know the the mechanics are actually roughly similar for you know the, for building things and designating things stuff like that same for prison architect you could port that over to say hospitals or 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 whatever like there is actually mods that do that um, software inc again it's an amazingly robust uh, builder for buildings and putting in windows and colouring the rooms and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it's... You look at it and you go, wow, this could be the next indie sims, you know, if they really wanted to go that way. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's have a quick look. How many people? Parking usage, we're on 50 odd of 144, no problem. Peak customers on site is going up. It's strange that we're not getting a lot more customers. I don't know why. Maybe there's a higher demand for something. I'm just looking to see if anyone uses the ATM. People are happy buying clothes there and doing quite well. That's good. Over here, that's fine. You know what? What I might be doing? I might pause it. I might pause it. And I might change the clothing store, clothing outlet, to go from 8 till 8. And we'll, up, we'll have the cashiers 
and everybody else go for a full 12 hour shifts. Which obviously we wouldn't be able to do this in real life every day. It wouldn't work, would it? Every day doing a 12 hour shift, no break, seven days a week. Mm, I don't think that's exactly accurate, is it? In fact, I think they're probably breaking some laws there. <laughs> anyway, I mean, unless it's voluntary, I don't think you're allowed to work that. Anyway, uh, obviously some of the money that we are losing or the reason why we're not getting that much profit is because of uh, this. We've we've hired another builder, another cleaner and stuff, but I think it's necessary. Um, speaking of builder, we might fire one of... No, we're not going to fire them, it's fine. So we've opened the clothing store. If that works... Oh, we just got another building. That's fine. Uh, another research done, which is appliances supplier. And that's what this is going to be, like appliances and white goods and stuff like that. And that sort of thing. Um, so this selling away here. I'm just checking like things like hunger um, on on this person. But their hunger is going up, and I don't think it really matters for the worker. Mm, doesn't say. Filing shelves, hanging around. Yeah, it doesn't matter for their hunger. So that's selling, that's selling... And eventually, eventually this is going to, yeah, the rest is closing and then people are still shopping. Yep, there's no reason why we can't just go around all of our places and actually up this to a 12-hour day. The only thing is that we will essentially have a bit of an issue... Um, a bit of an issue at times with the staffing if we have a if we have a full 48 hour we would have to double staff it all but then that 12 hours actually works out sort of well i think so the frozen's done the generic outlet's done the clothing was already there the food outlet needs to be sorted so we'll say you go for 12 hours actually what i'll do is i'll make sure i alter the opening times first and i'll pause it while I do this, so cashier, cashier, um, cashier, actually, how many, oh, yes, of course, cashiers, this is for the food outlet, so all of these are 12 hours, even though that slide is slightly further down, look, even though it's still 12 hours, cashier, 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 and make sure it is definitely open, yes, and then finally, we want, obviously, the restrooms don't have any opening times, we want the fast food outlet open till the same amount of time, with a total of 12 hours for each person, there we go, all right, max speed, research completed, now we're researching luxury supply, then it's just bowling, cinema, things like that, so, See profit going up. This will give us again more, more money in the kitty, hopefully, and more importantly, increase our total sales, which gives us more money in the long run as well. So we would have closed by now, but we did make I think a little bit more profit. Okay, but obviously we are paying more wages now because of the people that are. People are, people are here longer, so you can see the salary is 14, whereas previously it was, uh, oh, previously it was 13. So actually, there's not much difference. I guess that would be $14 an hour. It would have to make, it would have to be that, wouldn't it, surely? Let's have a quick look then at, um, finance. No, actually not there. Statistics. Salaries. Yeah, there you go, look. So, salaries. This is our previous day, all right? So, we'll look over the last, say, five days, and it's got it's actually shot up quite a bit, which is understandable. Right, we're going to go to build over to foundations. We're just going to see just how expensive this building would be. It would be a total of 102400 which is actually fairly doable, considering the uh, considering the amount we're getting per day. Profits going up and down. We're not going to build anything this day because I want to just see how much money we will get. Up to four, five. See, what I'd need to do is check the correlation between sales and missed sales because of the restaurant minus the amount it would have lost. Like, if we didn't have a restaurant, say if we missed 10 sales, would those 10 sales 
there's those lost 10 sales rather equal the amount we've lost hang on let me get this right would the lost sales if it was say for example 10 equal the negative that this applies every day because this thing the food restaurant here oh it's only a minus four percent okay so the net profit is minus 41 dollars Previously, it was like three or four hundred. So I'm thinking that if you only missed out on ten sales, would those ten sales equal four hundred? Because I don't think they would. Whereas now, actually, if it's only forty-one dollars, it's fine. In fact, it might actually start going into profit at some point. Oh, that'll be a, that'll be pretty good. Right. So let's go over to build foundations, and then we will put it in. There it is. Very very big building. This. Very big building indeed. We need to go over to our objects and scroll down to, and I'll scroll up in this one, staff door, which will go in here. Uh, like so, because this is all going to be storage. And then we'll have entranceways, uh, probably either side, either side and then down the bottom, maybe? I don't really know. I don't really know. Mm, yeah, probably. So, is there, an, is there a middle? Is there a middle? I don't know if there is. But, having the doors right at the back. Good idea, not a good idea? I don't really know. Maybe if we just put it... Fourth there. Fourth this side. One, two, three, four. Hang on. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two two three and then there same here one two three and then there then it's further it's higher up now i don't like the ones on the side i don't think we need it i don't think we need it right so they're going to crack on with that building and how have we got that much money now i don't know how have we got that 60 odd grand oh it's because i think it does it right ah uh, it spends the money not when you build, put the foundations down. It spends it each tile you build, right? So it doesn't just go, boom, welcome to Bankrupt Town, population you. It doesn't do that, which is good. So we have to think what we're going to sell in here. Well, I think we, well, we've got things like Pallet, which sells washing machines, uh, dishwashers, drying machines, and fridges. That might be quite good to put in. And we've also got, if we really wanted to, you've got smartphones, TVDs, cameras, that sort of thing. I, I think what we'll do is we'll have two, we won't have... We won't have this one selling smartphones and tablets. Like, we could do it, um, what we have in the UK, is a Curry's PC World. And there's other stores like it, you know, other generic uh, outlets are available. But just for example, Curry's PC World sells, uh, it's, well, it was a store called Curry's and a store called PC World. And they merge, so they sell not only uh, PCs, but also tablets, um, cameras, DVD players, televisions, all your white goods, so your fridge freezers. Uh, your separate fridges, your separate freezers, your dishwashers, your cookers, uh, hoovers, the, what, you know, the lot, washing machines, everything, you know. Um, uh, the only thing it doesn't sell is, as far as I'm aware, is phones. But I don't think we're going to have that. I don't think that's what this is going to be. This is going to be more for your sort of heavy goods and, uh, like, tools and things like that. Light bulbs. Yeah, they go. Uh, DVDs players, maybe. Um... I don't know. Is there a reason not to have it a bit of everything in here? We could, couldn't we, really? We could do that. Have this as, like, MP3 players, tablets, phones, that sort of thing. And then that's the big outlet. And then we can have smaller stores later on if we need to. Because if we have smaller stores for everything, we'll be here all day. Um, in fact, we'll be here for weeks and weeks making it. So let's go to build. Pause it a second. Change it down to walls. And what we need to do is put some storage in here. So... Um, that is a total of 22 to there, so it's actually that. It's going to have to be a fairly big storage, if I'm completely honest with you. So there, that should be 20, which it is, so we can fit a big row across there if we need to. And the storage is about that big. Is that big enough for our needs? It's probably too big, if I'm completely honest, but... Mm, How much? We could have one till. So it's one. Well, we could have. 
Could have four tills. Four tills is fine. Four tills is fine. Uh, back over to build and manage. Uh, sorry, build object staff door. Staff door in there because then they'll come in. Then around this way. And there we go. Right, we're going to leave it there. That's a fairly big store. And that's what we're building next episode with our 36 grand's worth of funds. So that should be good. Obviously, we then have to put flooring in and things like that and finish the parking down the bottom. But that's all next episode's job. Not a lot of building in this episode, but it's mainly a money issue. But um, we have got a lot of the plans really sorted. And more importantly, we've got the restaurant hopefully now. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's losing his money. But uh, we are making money, which is good. And this one should really kick it up a notch. Overall, not too bad. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.